because we don't have central places for the students to, to mingle, we have to work at other ways of having them do that. One of the ways that works is our MSIP program because students are placed in all kinds of different classes together, but also the idea that we can increase sort of communication through social media and things with the school I think would be a really positive thing to help self-brand brand students, um, regardless of what program they're in or what um, grade level they're in. I think it's important that we maintain really clear communication across our community. So what we've decided to do is use technology and reading as a way of putting people together. So. Basically, we've gone around and asked staff and students to do um, book reviews using a really easy audio app um, and some of the technology that's in the building now in terms of iPads or people's phones. And then we're using QR codes to put the audio, to link the audio um, book reviews straight onto the books themselves. So when students pick up a book in the library, they can scan the code and hear one of their peers or teachers from the actual building reviewing the book and talking a little bit about what they thought about it. One of our hopes is that it'll start people chatting. What I, one of the things I noticed by being involved in the staff book club is that a lot of staff are reading similar things, and the students are too, but we don't know. And there's something really neat about being able to hear someone in a department that you don't normally go to or a teacher you don't have anymore who's enjoying the same book you are because it gives you a common thread to talk about in a social sense, which is a nice way of building community in a building. Who gave you the idea? Where did it start? I love tech. And I'm kind of obsessed with QR codes. I think that if they're on the back of my turkey bacon and my, my toilet paper, why aren't we using them in education? Um, they're out there in the real world everywhere. I think the idea came from probably a tweet I saw that had to do with QR codes and using them in various places. Um, and then the idea of actually, I'd found an app that was quite simple in terms of recording audio and storing it online, and I thought, hey, what a great way to put those things together. I'm sure there are other libraries out there doing it, but I haven't actually seen any myself when I've been popping around doing research. And what have you noticed so far in going through, I know you're partway through the project, yeah. what, what observations, reflections do you have? I think, I think it's gonna be a fairly large project, and we wanna make sure that we have, we begin with our end in mind, so we're not you know, rolling it out too quickly because we want to be consistent and make sure it's maintainable. I don't want it to just disappear the minute my vigor is gone, um, but make it something that's sort of sustainable over a period of time. One thing I have noticed is that the students were really adorable when they went to do the book reviews. They were keen and excited, and they were far more articulate about these books than I would have anticipated, and I thought that was a really neat part of it, that they were able to um, very quickly adapt to that style of, of discussion around a novel. Kids get excited about what they read. That's one of the things about reading that is really unfortunate is how often it's isolating because you're reading, you know, it's a quiet activity. You're not really supposed to read loudly with your neighbors. And so when students are reading something and they want to talk about it or a book really um, had some kind of impact on them, they were excited to be able to say something about that or to admit that a book was difficult to read or emotional or they thought this was a good one for a friend or a peer to read. When you like something, word of mouth works. I mean, marketing has known that forever. It's true with the kids too.